Hey everybody, Grandmaster Ben Feingold here with 5 Minutes with Ben, and I'm Ben. And today we're going to look at a game uh, from a candidate, uh, Fabiano Caruana. He has the black pieces against Maxime Lagarde, French Grandmaster. Let's flip the board, since our candidate is black. This was played uh, last year in one of the Title Tuesday Blitz tournaments. And it just goes to show you, in blitz chess, there's a lot more blunders than in slow chess. So it's good for the audience, but uh, for the players, it's uh, it's nerve wracking because you know you can lose the game any second. Okay, so Fabi's white or Fabi's black. I knew he was black. I just said white just to confuse you, but Fabi does have the black pieces. Okay, he played the Sicilian. And white played knight c3, which is not the most common. And Fabi played e6, which is not the most common. And now white again played an uncommon move. And we, we see these a lot uh, in blitz chess, people playing unusual openings and just playing chess early on, not playing 20 moves of prep. Uh, d4. Typically, grandmasters won't play d4 in the Sicilian unless they've prepared it with c3 or knight f3, because now they have to take with the queen, which Lagarde was happy to do. And they played normal developing moves. Nothing to see here. Typical Sicilian h3 stopping knight g4. Maybe white wants to play g4 later too. Castles, castles. Okay, so now we have an early middle game and... Uh, Fabi decided to block the center since the bishop, the dark squared bishop, is already outside the pawn chain. He played the move e5. Obviously, if the bishop was on e7, the black bishop wouldn't be very good, but it's already developed. Okay, and then white played bishop d3, developing his last minor piece. Black did the same, developed his last minor piece. And the engine says this is about equal. It would prefer if white played king b1, as my dogs prefer also. Always play king b1. We played a3 attacking the bishop. And the bishop went to c5. And this is where everything went off the rails. If this was a slow game, uh, I have no doubt that white would play queen e2. Yeah, I guess black is slightly better because black has these nice pieces. The rook can go to c8 on this half open line. Uh, white's bishops are pretty passive. I guess I prefer black. But he played this super ultra hyper aggressive queen g5. And I mean, neither explanation makes any sense. So he either sacrificed the pawn on f2 or he blundered it. And I don't, neither one makes any sense to me. I mean, you blunder, bishop takes f2, you didn't see it. That doesn't make sense. Or you did see it and you allowed it, but there's no compensation. So I'm going to guess he didn't see bishop takes f2, but I don't know. It's a blitz game. So Fabi played bishop f2. Now, this position, white is in more trouble than just losing his f pawn because at the current position, white's queen is trapped on g5 because queen h4 and queen g3 are not available. So if it was black's turn to move, black would play h6 and the queen's trapped. So what white needs to do here is play the move bishop e1 and that gives an escape square for his queen. And then even though black is a pawn up virtually for nothing, it's a Sicilian, it's opposite side castling, it's a blitz game. So, you know, white can still do okay. Uh, instead, he seemed to ignore that. He played the move knight d5. And this is where Fabi really showed his class because it seems obvious to me, and it's wrong, to play knight takes d5 because this is hanging and the queens all get traded. I'll be up two pawns. And that actually is uh, good for black. Black has the advantage. But Fabi played better. Fabi took with the bishop 
which is not at all obvious. And the reason is, after pawn takes, if the black knight had taken on d5, the, the queens would be attacking each other and there would likely be a queen trade. Now the queens aren't attacking each other, so Fabi ignores his knight being attacked and just plays h6. And now Lagarde realized the only safe square for his queen is queen f5. There is nowhere else to go where I, I can't capture your queen. And then I just play knight to e7, attacking your queen. Uh, the queen has nowhere to go. Queen's trapped. So instead of losing his queen, and what the engine would like to do is get two pieces for the queen, but it's not really a great option against Fabi to be down a queen. So after the move h6, Lagarde resigned, and Fabi won a game in 14 moves with the black pieces. It was very tactical after the opening ended, and it seemed like Lagarde missed most of the tactics. So that's a preview of one of the candidates. I'll look at some games that the candidates won over the next month because the candidate starts actually next week and we'll see some interesting victories. I'm Grandmaster Ben Feingold. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. This has been Five Minutes with Ben. I'll see you next time. Bye.